The history of billiards is long and noble. Probably played as a grass game, possibly in France. It evolved into a table game with green cloth to simulate grass. A simple border around the table stopped the balls from rolling off. It was played by ladies and gentlemen, kings and commoners, with the balls originally being shoved round with a mace. The term billiard comes from the French word for ball, billa, or wooden stick, billard. The mace was a bit clumsy near the rail, and players would turn the mace around to strike with a narrow handle end. This was called the cue. Most early information about billiards comes from descriptions of the game played by the nobility. But by the 1600s the general public were acquainted with the rules. Shakespeare even mentions it in Antony and Cleopatra. Billiard rooms became commonplace in the 18th century. By the end of the 19th century, schools of arts were including more social activities and billiard rooms became popular additions. This is the well-attended billiard room at Glen Innes, with a few other games taking place as well. In 1913, a Federation-style billiard room was constructed at the Sir Henry Park School of Arts. Housing four full-sized billiard tables, this facility allowed the gentlemen of the town to have a place to meet and discuss the affairs of the world, without the distraction of the fairer sex, who were not permitted in the hall. Hollywood portrayed the male domination of the billiard room and glorified the tough hustler image. It was known that when the Tenterfield room was in use, women needed to be saved from temptation and would cross the road to pass by. The language floating through the closed doors and windows could be described as colourful at best. The local police paid regular visits to the hall so a cockatoo was deployed to provide advance warning of a police visit. Invariably when they arrived, everyone was seen to be doing the right thing. When the billiard room closed, it was rumoured that many of the town's gentlemen shed a tear at the loss of their haven. No doubt they would have brought a billiard table and set up their own den in the shed. Eventually another era passed by. And the billiards room at the Sir Henry Park School of Arts was named the A.D. Donnelly Hall and became the town library. <laughs>